Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tower reading. So today I'm taking a look at doing a love read. Oh, goodness. Um, so as I was saying, usually these types of reads, they do tend to attract a lot of negativity, right? So I am going to say it now. Please do not take offense at anything that comes out of these reads, okay? These are general reads. You only apply the message if you know for a fact that it resonates for you, all right? Don't try and force it to fit with your situation. Um, anyone who is going to be bitter and negative, well, you can just take your negative ass elsewhere, okay? Because comments where I'm getting the blame for whatever's going on between people, um, like they're just going to get a lifetime block immediately. Okay. I'm not here for that. Okay. Right. So with that being said, I didn't even get a chance to shuffle the deck properly. And you've got open your heart and date night. Okay. <clears throat> so open your heart. It will help you to attract more love and date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Beautiful really nice energy. So this is somebody here who is considering or is actively taking part in going out and dating and getting to know new people and really enjoying themselves, really enjoying the process of dating. Okay. This is the energy of someone who is being free, who is exploring everything and who is moving on, right? This is literally the energy of someone moving on. Now you've got communicate, confession and patience. Compromise, forgive and work it out. Someone has to tell you something and patience. In just a few more months, good things come to those who wait for it. All right. So whoever this is that is interested on dating, who is looking for love, um, they're saying here that you don't have to rush anything, okay? They're saying here for you to take your time to enjoy the process. Now, there is a situation here that's playing out where somebody is wanting to speak to you. They're, they're wanting to confess to you their feelings. But again, it feels too soon to be doing that, right? So... Here's the thing, if anyone is declaring their undying love to you within week one or is basically calling you hubby or wifey within month one, run. Run. I make no qualms about it, right? Love and trust takes time. It takes time to build, okay? So if someone is confessing to you within week one, oh, I feel, I feel like we've been together forever, even though we're on week number one, um, you know, or asking for your hand in marriage after just a couple of weeks, don't fall for it. Okay. And for everyone else where that's not applicable, enjoy the process. Okay, enjoy the process. Can we have messages here, please, for our collective's love energy? I want to be more than just friends. Now, there could be someone around you that you friend zoned, and they're wanting to come out of that friend zone. They're saying that they're currently burying themselves in their work in order to try and forget you. Okay. Um, and I regret lying to you has come out off center. So this individual, I don't feel that it's connected to this energy here, right? I feel it's a completely separate issue with a separate person. There's someone here who you have friend zoned, but they don't actually regret lying to you. That's why it's come out in that direction. They're saying, I don't regret it because I had to say it or I had to do it and you didn't like it. So it is what it is. They're saying that they are, una they're unable to change it. 
but they would like to make amends, but they're not apologizing for something that they said, right? And then sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So clearly this issue is really bothering whoever that person is. Um, it's bothering them to the point where they're not able to get a restful night's sleep. I feel that this is someone who confessed their feelings to you. And you perhaps don't or didn't feel the same way towards them which you know that's fine that's your prerogative you don't have to force yourself to feel a certain way about someone when you don't like literally you don't owe anybody anything especially when someone's telling you oh you know I I've fallen in love with you and if you don't feel the same then you don't feel the same and it is your right to say I'm sorry I don't feel the same um, the, the issue comes from in society especially when it's sort of like a masculine on feminine where masculines are confessing to feminines how they feel and the feminines like I don't feel the same a lot of times society puts a lot of pressure on feminines to just go along with it you know and, and that's not right it's kind of like the, this entitlement thing, right? So I can see here that somebody didn't do that. They, they didn't fall into this trap of, oh, right, okay, so I have to pretend that I feel some way about this person so that I don't offend them or whatever, whatever, right? But literally, we, you've got someone here that cannot stop thinking about you even though they know that it's a one-sided situation right and this is absolutely somebody who is in your friend zone or you friend zoned them okay uh, see if we can find out more what's going on for our collective in love what's going on messages for our collect okay um interesting mental conflict allows past relationships to dictate or predict how the current relationship will be and how it will play out a trail of lies a compulsive liar fake charmer makes up stories to cover up their lies believes their own lies is manipulative and deceitful and has no remorse and wishy dreams keeps dreams alive by making empty promises has their head in the clouds daydreams excessively or over exaggerates and mi misleads others it's not good is it and you can see all of these cards came out in the reverse position and they came out of that deck really quite abruptly as well. So th this is someone who's rude. This is someone who's rude. I don't know if it's this person here who came out in the white cards or if it's this person here that's come out in the black cards. I haven't a clue. And it's, it's going to be different for all of you. There's someone in this energy who is, for lack of a better turn of phrase, is mentally disturbed. They're a compulsive liar. There, there's someone here who lies about things and it's pointless. The things that they lie about is absolutely pointless. There's future faking here as well with wishy dreams. It, it's kind of like keeping someone on the hook through false promises. It's keeping someone on the hook. It's keeping someone in this state of maybe one day we can get together. 
Maybe one day we can be a thing. Maybe one day we can get married. Maybe one day we can move in. But there's no progression towards that one day. Do you know what I mean? Is future faking? It's deliberately misleading. This is someone who has left a trail of lies and of deceit and of heartbreak in their wake. This is someone who judges everybody through their own projections. This is someone who is not healthy. This is not a healthy energy that I'm seeing coming out of here. And if this is the energy that you're trying to um, disconnect from, break free from, you know, because we've got you here either actually going out on new dates or considering going out on the dating scene again, considering meeting someone new, someone different, um, either or. There's still this energy here that's hanging around. Somebody feels tricked by this person. Now, it could well be that these white cards here is your energy. I'm not ruling that out either. I'm not ruling that out at all. You could have been the one that was friend zoned by someone and that someone constantly dangling this imaginary carrot in front of your face. Maybe one day, you know, someone who remains friends with certain other people for their own convenience. Did you catch feelings for this person? Are you the one that has gone through this time of laying awake at night wondering when this person was going to finally pick you? Are you the one that's been burying yourself in your work to try and disconnect from this person? Even though you know that they're mentally disturbed, they've been dangling this carrot in front of your face, they've been lying to you, they've been covering up their lies, they've been incredibly manipulative and deceitful. And then you've had to say something to this person here that was quite hurtful. Along the lines of, I love you, but I hate what you're doing, and I hate what you're doing to me, I hate what you're doing to us, and I hate what you have done to our connection, to our relationship. That wasn't you lying. Because we do have someone here who has told the truth and does not regret it. And then you've got another person who is acting all offended and all upset because someone here told the truth and it was a harsh truth that needed to be said. What else? What else for our collective? I just this is a mess whoever's dealing with this situation it is an absolute mess touchy-feely lack of affection misinterprets lack of affection as a dislike or a loss of love, feels insecure about connection, argues when they feel that they aren't getting enough affection and time. That's insecurity. Insecurity that I feel 
this individual caused another person to be insecure within themselves. Lazy does not put effort into career goals or into life in general. Long-term goals are non-existent, lives one day at a time and uses other people's resources. It's a parasite. A parasite who sits there making empty promises has no desire to do anything with their life, has no desire to be any sort of provider here. None at all. Cold shoulder. Ignores when out in public, acts single and detached from the relationship. No PDAs and acts like you're just friends. The more cards I uncover here, the more frustrated I can feel myself getting on behalf of the collective that's dealing with this. This is an individual who checks out of relationships without actually telling the other person that they've checked out of the relationship. This is an individual who, oh, I don't even know what to say at this point without sounding like an absolute heartless bitch. I'll, I'll try, I'll try. This person, let's be real, they, they've got their problems. But the thing is, they've never acknowledged their own problems. They've never done that inner work. They, they've never grown. They've never matured. And what they've actually done is they're offloading their problems onto other people. Because they've never grown or matured, they attempt to get into grown and mature relationships with other people but then the the person that they're in a relationship with actually becomes sick and ill emotionally and mentally because of the damage that this person's doing to them so it, it's kind of like their mental health issues have become contagious at that point do you know what i mean Persuasive. Uses other people to persuade partner to forgive them and then return. Does not face the music but makes others do the dirty work on their behalf. And generous with time and or money. Enjoys treating partner or taking care of others. Spoiling loved ones and shows affection through material things. So that's what you feel that you have to do. Because that, that's not their energy. That's not their energy. I mean, they could pretend to be generous. They're certainly generous with other people's resources, with other people's money, with your money, with your resources. They're certainly generous with that. But it's, it's very manipulative because whenever this person doesn't get what they want or whenever... Whenever you've been questioning them and they're feeling like you're getting close to exposing them, they detach even further, run away, hide. And then it makes you feel like you have to do all of the, all of the, the legwork, all of the running around after them. It makes you feel that you're the one that is then responsible uh, for, for their well-being, basically. This, this person has been running back to either mutual friends of yours or their family members and they've been slagging you off here. So every time you questioned something that they were doing, quite rightly, every time you questioned their behaviour, instead of taking accountability, they'd run off to their friends and family. Oh yeah, you'll never guess what they've been doing now. Oh yeah, you'll never guess what they've been saying now. 
and then setting up other people against you, making you look like you're the bad one. That's what's been going on with this energy. Now, I don't know if this is a current situation or if this is an old situation. I'm hoping that this is an old situation. But for whatever reason, either you or they is still suffering. And that's what we're needing to get to the bottom of. So either you've cut off whoever this person is because you're done, you've had enough, you've recognised your worth and your value, moving on, or trying to move on, trying to date new people here, and they're the ones that are sort of lying awake thinking about you, uh, wanting to get back in your good books, you know. Or this is someone who has taken total advantage of you, threw you to the curb like you were trash, and then they're the ones that are going out dating other people and trying to rub it in your face, and now that leaves you having these sleepless nights and wondering, are they treating the new person better? What is it that I could have done? differently? Was this my fault? Did I deserve this? Did I encourage this? If you are sitting there questioning yourself, then don't. Then don't. Because clearly this individual is a walking, talking parasite. And they used you for your kindness and for your generosity. So if you are currently dating new people, you certainly shouldn't feel bad or guilty for that. And if it's them that's currently dating new people, then your best bet is going to be to stay out of it. Because whoever they end up with next, or whoever they've ended up with already, they're going to see the truth of this person in due course. In due course. You do not have to say anything to the new person. Don't feel as if you have to warn the new person because trust me, the new person is not going to listen. They're already being love bombed. They're already under this person's spell. The new person is not going to believe you. According to them, you're just going to be a weird-ass, creepy-ass stalker that couldn't move on, that's still obsessed, yada, yada, yada. You're going to unintentionally... You will unintentionally fight this parasite's cause on their behalf. That's how it'll look is very, very unfortunate. But you've got to believe me on this. You've got to believe me on this. If this is something that happened many, many years ago, then the person that they went off with immediately after using you is already starting to wake up. They're already starting to realize, I'm with a scumbag here. That other person's already getting the cold shoulder. They're already feeling this lack of affection. There might also have been a situation here where this individual tried to bully you. Could have been online for some. They tried to bully you. didn't work though. Yeah, look, hope at the bottom of the deck. You pushing through the struggles, you holding on to hope, things gradually improving for you, things getting better. This indicates that you do not give up easily and nor should you because you almost gave up on yourself. 
with the way that this person was treating you, you almost gave up on yourself. And clarify this energy for our collective, please. What's going on with this trail of lies? What's going on with this trail of lies? Thank you. Ah, I got my short nails on. Uh, the Ace of Swords, yeah. Yeah, truth trumps lies. Truth trumps lies every single time. Every single time. So, literally, all of the lies that this person was telling everyone else about you, it's all coming to light now. It's all coming to light. They're saying, you know how when you were in the thick of this situation and when you were right in the middle of still dealing with this, you were the topic of gossip. You were the topic of everyone's conversation and none of it was true, none of it was correct. You're going to be the topic of gossip and the topic of conversation yet again to do with this person. But people are finally starting to speak up on the truth. They're finally starting to say what has actually been going on here. Without you needing to say or do a damn thing other than you living your best life. What's this lazy? Thank you. The two of wands and death. Yeah. Yeah, someone's had enough. Someone, Someone's had enough of this person. They're on the verge of kicking them out here. Like, for real. Someone's ready to end this situation. End this connection, the relationship. You've probably also... Um, cut ties with this person. See how you've got death there with a the sword? And he's literally about to cut through that last bit of the, the frayed rope. That's a metaphor there for cutting ties. So you've probably already cut ties with this person. And you've got someone else who is about to do the exact same. You've got this user currently dealing with someone else. And that someone else is like, do you know what? I want my life back. Two of Wands. I want my life back. And the only way I can do that is by kicking out this person. What's happened here with the persuasive? Thank you. The three of pentacles, so they did get other people involved. Three of pentacles, ace of wands, king of swords and the ten of cups. Yeah. Yeah, they were controlling the script. They were controlling the rhetoric. They probably affected relationships that you had with other people. Because they were dragging you through the mud. It's like, it's like you tried to tell everyone that this person was a user, that this person was a liar. And you were shunned, you were rejected, you were pushed away because you spoke the truth. And at one point, this is somebody that you considered as being your friend. At one point, either you or they at one point wanted more than just friendship. But they've definitely, I mean, here and they've recruited other people to go against you. And some of these other people could even have been your own family members, which is really fucked up and twisted. Or at least those that you would have considered as being your family. And now those relationships will never be the same ever again. Hey, Savans, it's like you had to move on here. You had to create a new life for yourself outside of all this. 
they they're currently um it's really twisted because what they're actually doing right now which is why it's coming out in your energy they're actually going back to those same people and they're bad mouthing the person that they're currently with to the same people that they bad mouthed you to do you know what i mean Hangman, four of cups, three of cups. Yeah, and the six of swords. It's too late. It's too late. This person's trying to bounce back to you. They're trying to bounce back to you. They seem to think that you're going to welcome them back with open arms, but they're going to learn really quite quickly that, that that's not on the cards. That's not an option. No, that, that, that's not an option at all. Yeah, the moon. Moon and temperance. The star and the seven of wands. This person's got a lot of explaining to do. A lot. And I feel that they're going to try and get you to feel sorry for them. So when they get back in contact, they're going to make out like everyone's attacking them. Everyone's gone against them. Everyone's betrayed them. I mean, they're kind of right, but it's not without reason. You know, that they're making out that it's without reason and it's not without reason. It's because everything sneaky that they've been doing, it's all coming out. It's all coming out. It's possible that this individual's been caught cheating. Because you've got so much other people involved or other people's involvement within this energy. So it is possible that this person has been caught cheating. You got Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. That's the dominant signs that's coming through. And Scorpio. So you could be those signs. This person could be any of those signs. Or that could just be the energy that, that's coming through. It's like this person is so, so deeply disturbed and so deeply unhappy within themselves that they can't help but make everyone else's life a misery. I mean, I'm, I'm getting the message here that they basically, they, they genuinely believe that they don't have to work on anything, that they don't have to put efforts in anything. Like they, they genuinely believe that. They genuinely believe that other people should be doing everything for them. It's like learnt helplessness. That's what this person's issue is. It's learnt helplessness. Now you've moved on from all of that or you're in the process of moving on from all of that. Again, remember that everyone is on different stages of their own journey here. If you've been holding on to hope and wishing that other people would see the truth of this person, would see that they're a liar, a manipulator, a trickster, a user, if you were hoping that other people were going to see the truth of that, they absolutely are. They absolutely are seeing the truth of that. And the thing is as well, this person doesn't even feel connected to their family. So if this person's had kids or has got kids, they don't feel connected to their kids. And they definitely don't support them. They definitely don't contribute to them. Definitely not. They don't feel connected to their own kids if they've got them. And that's sad. That's really, really sad. Oh, 
What else? What else for our collective, please? Time. You're trying too hard to give it time. And that was off centre. And friendship at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So time off centre and friendship. I feel that this, because of the sneaky nature of this individual, I feel that what they're going to try and do is feed you a sob story about how everyone's turned against them and they don't know why everyone's turned against them and that they've got nowhere to go and that they're going to be homeless and yada 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 um, is to try and get you to feel sorry for them to the point where you'll offer them some sort of sanctuary here I don't see that happening though. They are going to try really, really hard to be friends with you again in the hope that one day they can pick up where they left off and take from you again. Can we have advice? Advice for our collective, please. Thank you. Dragon's Lair. Danger. Danger. This would be a dangerous move. The Dragon's Lair is also about trying new things. Even though the thought of trying new things can be scary, we still have to try new things so that we can break old patterns, so that we can break old habits. Because if if we if we're not adventurous enough to try new things, then we just we're kind of dooming ourselves to repeat the same old, same old over and over and over, yeah. But you are definitely being told. If you're wanting to find love, you will find love. You're not going to find it with whoever this person is, though. So don't be tricked. Don't be fooled into believing that they're coming back to you because all of a sudden they've realized, oh, you know, I picked the wrong person. Oh, I've loved you the whole time through. And, you know, don't be fooled. They're coming back to be a chancer. You're always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. Yeah. So you've got to listen to that internal warning system of yours right now when dealing with this person. And definitely listen to it when you're out dating new people. Because people are always on their best behaviour when they're out dating. If you get this feeling of ick about anyone at any point in time, you don't have to explain it away. The only thing you have to do is listen to it. You have a remarkable internal warning system and you're being urged to listen to that right now. You're about to enter dangerous territory. So tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path that you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating. Like the danger that you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you and it's one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. So if this is somebody 
that you keep bouncing back to or they keep bouncing back to you. It is time to end that cycle. It is time for you to try a new relationship with a new person elsewhere that does not involve this individual and to be brave and courageous to do that. Okay. Because this cycle doesn't end until you end it. All right, so let's see what wonderful words of wisdom the shitty deck can impart on you. What else? Thank you. Stop letting shitty people who do little for you control so much of your mind, feelings and time. You have way more important shit to do and to think about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not being funny. And I'm not being bitchy. I am going to say it. I'm going to give it to you straight. You know what I'm seeing in this read? Some of yous have been consistently dating under your standard. And it's time for you to raise your standards when it comes down to who it is that you date. Okay. You're worth far more. And you know that you're worth far more. And you're not getting that far more because you insist on dating beneath your standard, right? It isn't, it, it's not you being egotistical. It's not me being e egotistical. It is what it is. If you constantly date under your standard, you're constantly going to receive substandard connections. And now it's time to end all of that, okay? For someone here, that is literally your comfort zone. And that's why Spirit's telling you, you've got to come out of your comfort zone then. Because your comfort zone is making life very uncomfortable for you. Okay. But yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you want to see more information on how you can book a private reading with me you can find that in my description box below or you can visit me at phoenixkiatarot.com thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye